Cis, trans, and EZ naming are three concepts which can be a bit difficult the first time you see them. But I'm going to simplify it and hopefully you'll understand by the end of the video. Let's get into it! Today we're going to be talking about cis and trans isomers, which only apply to alkenes and are two types of stereoisomers. Stereoisomers are just molecules that have the same chemical formula but a different arrangement of the atoms. Now cis means same, so the two molecules that are important, in this case methane trumps hydrogen, so we're focusing on the methane on which side of the double bond it falls. If they're on the same side it's called cis and if they're on opposite sides it's called trans. Trans actually means across, so that's how you can remember that. And cis sounds like sisters, so they'll be on the same side, SS. Now, how you would write this is cis but to in and trans but to in. And down here, if you look down here, I've indicated the line diagram and how you would actually draw it. Let's try an example. So, as always, we start by finding the longest carbon chain. So one, two, three, four, five is the longest carbon chain, and there are no substituents, so it's just pent. And the double bond starts at carbon two, so it's pent two in because there's double bonds, it's an alkene. And the big molecules that are important, um, you can often tell this by which molecule has the largest atomic mass. So th uh, methane and ethyl obviously trump the hydrogen because they have much more mass so they are the important ones that we're focusing on so they are on opposite sides of the double bond so we're going to include trans and down here is just the line diagram for if you're interested now let's move on to ez naming which is when you have more than one double bond in a particular compound you'll use this notation so it looks a little odd but they all correspond so as you can see it's two four, seven, two, four, seven. They're talking about the same thing. There are, and E means trans, Z means cis. That's very important to note, otherwise it'll be very confusing. So at carbon, in this particular example, you have to count right to left, just based on how it's laid out. So I'm at carbon two here, and it says two E. So E means trans, so I've drawn the hydrogens on opposite sides. Now you could flip both the hydrogens of how I've been drawn them here and you'd have the same answer. It doesn't matter as long as they're on opposite sides. Then carbon four, I've drawn them on the same side because it's Z, which means cis. And carbon seven is just like carbon two and they're on opposite sides. Now down here is the line diagram. And as you can see, over here, I focused on the hydrogens. Over here in the line diagram, there's no hydrogens and it's just the carbons. Now the carbon chain is going to be on opposite sides if it's trans and on the same side and in the same direction if it's cis. So over here you can see it's on opposite sides, both the lines going on opposite directions, one up, one points down. Over here it's cis, so one's down and one's down. And here it's trans again, down, down. So that's how you can read the line diagram to be able to, you should be able to interchange if you have the line diagram, produce the written equation. And if you have the written equation, produce the structural formula or the line diagram. Thank you so much for watching this video. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe down below. Thanks for watching.